Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. This lesson is on pivot tables. Now, pivot tables automatically summarize your data for you. Now, to create a pivot table, you can select the table or cells, including the column headers, that you want to include in your pivot table. Now, my data has been formatted into a table, so I'll just click on any cell, then from the Insert tab, select the Pivot Table command. Now, the Create Pivot Table dialog box will appear. Now, from here, you can choose your settings, then click OK once you're done. So, in my example, I'll use Table 1 as my source data and place the pivot table on a new worksheet, then click OK. Now, a blank pivot table and field list will appear on a new worksheet. Now, once you create a pivot table, you'll need to decide which fields to add in your pivot table. Now, each field is simply a column header from the source data. Now, from the pivot table field list from over here, you can select, you can choose a certain field that you want to add to your pivot table, and then the pivot table will calculate and summarize the selected fields. Now, I can choose to select, unless I want to add items, and as you can see, it's been added under rows. You can also just click and drag on the item you want to add, and then it will be added to your pivot table. Now, one of the best things about pivot tables is that you can quickly reorganize your data, allowing you to examine your worksheet in several ways. Now, pivoting data can help you answer different questions and even experiment with your data to discover new trends and patterns. Now, I can choose to add another one over here and it will be added under rows. I can choose to remove that. You can do whatever you want. I can move items under columns and have it appear this way. I can move units under rows and have a look at that. So there's a lot you can do with pivot tables. Now, uh, so far, our pivot table, you can use um, multiple columns. You can use multiple items under one area. So I can have multiple items under columns or under rows, under filters, under whichever uh, field I want. Again, uh, if you want to remove uh, a certain field from one area. Now, let's say I want to move units to the column. You can just click and drag it to the area you want it to appear. You can do the same with the other one. And by doing this, you can manipulate and customize your pivot table.